My name is Donnie Furneaux with Rocket 21 Restaurant here in Hillcrest. Today we're going to work on a dish called Pasta Lindy. It's one of my mother's favorites. Let's get started. All right, the ingredients are applewood smoked bacon, grilled chicken, roasted red bell peppers, sweet peas, cooked off bow tie pasta, Parmesan cheese, chopped garlic, little Cajun seasoning, Ferno seasoning, white wine, heavy cream, and olive oil. Let's get started. What we've got here, we've got a hot skillet at about medium high heat. We're gonna start out with a teaspoon of olive oil. Go ahead and throw the garlic in. It's very important to brown the garlic, kind of caramelize it. What you're doing is you're pulling the you're caramelizing the sugars and pulling the bitterness out. We're going to sweat the bacon. And that's going to do two things as well. That's going to pull some of the fat out of the bacon. We've already crisped it. We're going to pull some of the, the fat out of there and give it a nice smoky flavor. And then we're going to add some chicken. The chicken's already been grilled off. It's been cooked. And then we sliced it. Go ahead and add the roasted peppers. That's going to also add some moisture to the dish. As you can see, the pan's starting to dry up a little bit. There's really not very much oil or moisture in there. We're going to deglaze the pan with a little white wine. The wine's going to add a very nice acid to it. Now you've got all that flavor of the garlic, the bacon, the peppers, and the chicken are all binding together with the acid from the wine. And with it reducing, you're also going to get a little bit more sweet in there as well. So we're going to go ahead and add about a cup of cooked pasta that's chilled. Give it a nice little toss. And one trick I do with pasta is I don't really, I don't add oil to the pasta water because when you dump the, the oil out with the water, it all leaves. So once I, rinse, once I strain the pasta, I toss a little bit of olive oil over the pasta, and then I kind of mix it around the strainer and then put it on a sheet pan, and that's how I let my pasta cool. So now we're gonna add about three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. At this point, we're gonna add a little bit of Cajun seasoning, about a teaspoon. And then just a couple pinches of Frenot seasoning in there. Now, right now you see the cream and everything's starting to boil and kind of reduce a little bit. This is the point where you want to add your peas. You want them to stay nice and fresh. If you add them in the beginning, they're going to get that really kind of like a overcooked flavor and kind of a mushy look to them. That light pale green. So you can see everything's binding together. Getting real nice and saucy. And we're going to tighten it up with just about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. This is grated. And if I can get a possible for my sous chef, I think we're about ready to serve. Here we go. It's actually one of my mom's favorite dishes. This is the pasta lindy. With just a little bit of Cajun seasoning, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Pasta lindy, what would go great to start would be like a Caesar salad, maybe a mixed green. For drinks, I would go probably like a Chardonnay, Pinot Grigio, an ice cold beer, even some champagne. Enjoy. <laughs> 